So in this video, we are going to look at assertions and then the substantive procedures that can be performed yeah, in case of a particular assertion. So we are going to start with uh, completeness. Completeness, we already know the objective of completeness is uh, to ensure that transactions are recorded, like all the transactions that are supposed to be recorded are recorded. So what are the substantive procedures? And remember, completeness applies to all. It applies to the classes of transactions and then account balances. Things that appear in profit or loss and those that appear in a statement of financial position. So the substantive procedures that can be performed in case of completeness, like review of uh, post year end items, like the transactions that happened just immediately after the year end. Then uh, secondly, we have cut-off testing. Cut-off testing, it's testing if transactions are recorded in the correct accounting period. Then uh, analytical review, it is uh, about comparing the ratios, comparing ratios of maybe the current year and then the previous year. Then uh, confirmations, you can call maybe external parties to confirm, or you can talk to the people within the organization to get confirmation. Then uh, reconciliation to control accounts. Control accounts, we have the receivables contract account and then the payables contract account. So you can reconcile. Then the next assertion is rates and obligation. Rates and obligation, it's uh, related to account balances. Yeah, this one, its objective is to ensure that the entity owns like the assets that were recorded in the statement of financial position and then uh, to ensure if the, if the entity is uh, real obligated to pay the liabilities that were recorded in the statement of financial position. So... The substantive procedures that can be performed in this case is a review invoices of proof that the item belongs to the entity. Yeah, because it's objective, you, you, you'll have to make sure that those assets that were recorded in the balance sheet real belong to the entity. And then uh, the liabilities that were recorded actually exist. So one of the substantive procedures is review invoices for proof to confirm that the item actually belongs to the entity. Then you can also do confirmations with third parties, maybe like the creditors that are demanding the company. You call them and confirm if they are really demanding the company. Then the next assertion we have is accuracy, valuation, and then allocation. Accuracy is to make sure that something is... Uh, 100% correct or nearly 100%. Then for valuation, it deals with determining the correct value of um, an asset, a non-current asset. Valuation deals with non-current assets at a particular period. Then uh, allocation, it deals with uh, recording and then disclosing appropriate amounts of uh, assets, equity, and then liabilities. And this assertion is, re is related to account balances or things that appear in the balance sheet. So the substantive procedures that can be performed in this case, first is uh, matching amounts to invoices. You match the amounts that were recorded in the statement of financial position to the invoices. Then secondly, we have recalculation. You can recalculate something to make sure it's accurate. Then um, thirdly, confirming that the account policy is consistent and then reasonable. Then uh, another one is uh, review the post-year end payments and then invoices. You look at those payments or invoices that were made at the like immediately after the end of the financial year. Then uh, expert valuation, you get someone from outside to come and value the assets or revalue the assets. 
Another assertion is existency. Existence is also for account balances. So existency is uh, confirming if something actually exists. This is mainly related to non-current assets. Like if they tell you a car was bought, you have to make sure that the car that was bought is there. Yeah. So the substantive procedures that can be performed in case of this assertion. The first one is physical verification. Like if, if they included in the balance sheet that land was bought, you go there and see that land to see if it is actually there. So you can do a physical verification. Then third party confirmations, you can call the person that sold the land to the company. Then cut off testing, you confirm if the land was recorded in the correct accounting period. Then another session we have is occurrency. Occurrency, like to make sure that something actually took place. Yeah. So here are the substantive procedures. We have uh, inspection of supporting documentation. Inspect like supporting documentation in case they say that sales were made, they recorded sales in the in the statement of profit or loss. You check for the goods delivered, notes, the invoices. So occurrency is related to classes of transactions or items that appear in the statement of profit or loss. Then another substantive procedure that can be performed in this case is confirmation from directors that tran about transactions of the entity or confirmation that show that transactions took place. Yeah. Then um, another substantive procedure is inspection of the items purchased in case they tell you that such and such was purchased, you inspect to see if they are really there or you look at the supporting documents and all that. Then uh, another session is accuracy. So accuracy deals with classes of transactions. For account balances, it is uh, called accuracy valuation and allocation. So those two are different. For classes of transactions, it's only accuracy. So accuracy, something being correct. Then the substantive procedures that can be performed in this case, recalculation of correct amounts, then third party information, then analytical review, which is a ratios. Then uh, another assertion is classification. Classification is uh, confirming if transactions are, are recorded or classified in their accounts. So the substantive procedures that can be performed in this case, classification is for both classes of transactions and then account balances. So the substantive procedures that can be performed in case of classification, first is confirming compliance with the law and then uh, accounting standards. Yeah, to see if things are classified according to the law and the related accounting standards. Then review the notes that were written down for understandability. Then another session is cutoff. Cutoff also applies to classes of transactions and account balances. So cutoff testing, sorry, cutoff, like the substantive procedures that can be performed. The first one is cutoff testing, like you test to see if uh, the transactions are recorded in the correct accounting period. Then secondly, analytical review ratios. So analytical review almost applies everywhere. Then uh, the last assertion is presentation, which also applies to both classes of transactions and account balances. So here the substantive procedure that can be performed is uh, you review notes. You review notes that were written for compliance with accounting standards.